Matthew chapter 7, the end verse. And seeing the multitudes, he, that's Jesus, went up into a mountain. And when he was set, his disciples came unto him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying. Now, we're going to go into uh, Matthew um, chapter 5, but Matthew is connected, obviously, to Matthew 28, which is the Great Commission. But before I go into that, which I have done already in the opening section of this, these messages, this has been commonly known in the past as the Sermon on the Mount. Well, I want you to, I'm actually going to have to come against that, because that's like a religious spirit. Uh, sermons are for people in the 21st century who think that they've studied the word of God and they go to church on a Sunday and they preach for 40 minutes and people yawn and go home and say that was a nice sermon. Well, Jesus didn't do that. This is not what we're going to be teaching. This is not a sermon on the mount, but this is the teaching of Jesus Christ to his disciples. Now, people will go on, when we go on to verse 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and so forth, we talk about what people call the Beatitudes. Now, I know that people are suggesting this is the attitude that we should have, but I want to move us away from that. Yes, it seems like this guy is going to be contradicting everything that everyone says even the theological Bible schools and the wonderful things that we have in our study Bibles. My study Bible says exactly the same as yours. It talks about a Sermon on the Mount and it talks about Beatitudes. But Jesus has told me, actually, I taught my disciples and the Beatitudes are actually blessings. The blessings, this is what the blessings of God through Jesus Christ are. So let's go again. And seeing the multitudes, he went up into a mountain, and when he was set, that's Jesus, his disciples came unto him. Now, verse 2, and he opened his mouth and taught them, T-A-U-G-H-T, taught. He taught them, saying, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of of heaven. Now, we live in a society now and in a church age where any hint of poverty would be would be against the prosperity message. <laughs> but Jesus is looking and saying there is a blessing for those who are poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Now, what does it mean by poor in spirit? Is Jesus saying that people should be unwealthy when it comes to God? Is he saying that people should be destitute when it comes to God? No. What Jesus is really describing, when he talks about the poor in spirit, he is speaking of those who are dependent upon God. You can have it like this, if you like, who need a handout who need something given unto them, who need something imparted to them, who need to receive something from God. And he says, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Because God says, I see you are poor in your spirit, and I'm going to give you heaven. But this poverty is not about brokenness and destitution. This poverty is about dependency upon God through Jesus Christ. Hello, because I know that sounds, what? What's he saying? I am saying that there is a blessing in depending upon God. 